Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the operation and integers and we'll have multiplication and division. So I combined them because the ruling for them is actually the same. Okay. So let's discuss ano ba yung mga rules natin when it comes to multiplication and division. Okay po. So whichever operation that you will perform, this would be the rule that you will follow. Okay po. Kasi meron tayong dalawang case dito. Case number one is if the signs are same. Okay? So pag same daw yung sign, so for example, you have a positive number times a positive number m. Okay? So we have a positive number n times a positive number m. Or you will have positive number n divided by positive number m, your n, meron tayong set na isa pa, negative number n times negative number m, or negative number n divided by negative number m, your answer will always be positive. So, ibig sabihin, kahit anong gawin mong op, um, uh, do, multiplication or division, doon sa dalawang number na parehas ng sign, may it be positive parehas, or of course, negative parehas, okay? Ang sagot will always be positive. So, no matter what you do, pag may nakita kayong dalawang number na parehas ng sign, automatically, you will be positive. Okay po? Next one, case number 2. In case number 2, if the signs are not same, kapag hindi daw sila parehas, so, anong gagawin natin? So, same-same, ganito yung ating gagawin is, Kapag may positive ka na n times negative na m, okay? Or you have positive na sorry, n times negative na m, or the other way around, you have a negative n. Sorry, this is division pala. Sorry. You have negative n times positive m, or you will have negative n divided by positive m. So, you will notice pa, nagkaiba lang ng sign. So, if you will have a two numbers, take note, two numbers having opposite signs, may it be multiplication or division, your answer will always be negative. Okay po? So, let's, uh, let's just review the case. Kapag parehas ng sign plus, or not plus, positive, pag hindi parehas ng sign, it's always negative. Okay? So, let's have an example. Sorry. Say we have 6 times um, 7. The answer, they are both positive kasi wala naman na alagay na symbol. So the answer is positive 42. Okay? But if you will be given negative 6 times negative 7, since parehas pa rin ng sign, the answer is still positive 42. Okay? Another example. Negative 2 times negative 3. Same sign, right? So, the answer is positive 6. Okay? Next example. Negative 7 times positive 4. The answer is what? So, I'll give you a little bit of time. Remember, they are different signs. So, therefore, your answer would be negative 28. So, what happens here is the signs will be affected, but the multiplication or division would be as is. So, let's have another one. Let's say we have um, 6 divided by negative 2. Different signs, right? So, therefore, what would happen would be the answer is negative. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. May it be in fractions, the same lang naman. Say we have um, 1 divided by Negative 1 divided by positive 2, the answer is 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. Since they are of different signs, the answer is negative 0 0.5. Okay po? So, I hope you got that. Again, pag magkaiba ng sign, it's always positive. Pero kapag parehas ng sign, I mean, sorry, pag magkaiba ng sign, it's always negative. But pag parehas ng sign, it's always positive. Okay? So, I do hope you got that. So, again... This is um, operations on integers on multiplication. Okay, pa. Thank you, everyone, for listening.
and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.